Well, race fans, this is it. Race number six in the Zwift Duathlon League. It's the final one. I think I'm ready for it. Um, I might have did a little too much riding and racing last week after the fifth duathlon, but I, I think I'm finally ready to make a step forward on this bike. Between Thursday and Friday, I went out and I rode the course that we will be racing today three times. One was just to get familiar with it, and the other two were kind of at race pace just to see how I would do with the different elevation changes. So I think I'm ready for this course. I still needed more drops in order to afford the frame that I wanted to purchase. So on Saturday, I signed up to do a time trial. I'd never done one of this particular style of racing, and I was kind of looking forward to it. All I have to say is that the start for these time trials are awesome. I had no plans on showing any video on this, but I think I need to show you a piece of how this starts. You sit on the grid until it's your time to go, and the thing slowly rotates you up, each person one by one, and then it zooms you off the line. You don't even have to spin your wheels to get yourself up to speed. It just shoots you right off the line to get you going. Now, I'm not going to show all this, but to my surprise, look what happened. I actually won a bike race. I'd never even come close to winning a bike race. My power and my stamina in this race was off the chart. I produced more power during this race than I ever have. Look at this. Look at this. That's over a 40 point jump. I don't know where this came from, but I was so happy about it. So with that being done, I had to prove it wasn't a fluke. So I signed up on Sunday for a different kind of duathlon. This was a run bike run with a much longer bike in it. And I knew if I could hold my power and stay in the race in this one, that I would be good to go for my next race. And what do I do? I go out and do another fantastic ride. I didn't win this one, but I was in the race all the way up to the end. Fell off a little bit on that last loop with about, say, maybe five or six minutes to go and kind of got dropped. But I was so excited that I had another fantastic ride with comparable power. So with the completion of that race, that gave me enough drops to go out and purchase my frame. I went out and got me a Cervelo P5. It's supposed to be faster than the frame that I was using, the time trial frame that I was using. So I was looking forward to this upgrade to see if I can go even faster. So it was finally race day. I changed my kit to match my frame. I got a match. I don't know why I do, but I got a match. And I did my pre-race warm up where I went through my power cycles and I was ready. I was confident and I was ready for this race. So let's get it on.
Okay. I think I might have gone out way too fast. Pushed over 600 watts off the line, and my legs are on fire. I'm breathing hard, I'm breathing heavy, and I'm wondering, like, what the heck is going on? I don't feel anything like I felt on those last two races that I did. Um, I, I don't know if it's the new frame or what. I can't blame it on the frame. But I, I think I might have just did too much and it's finally catching up with me. I can't hold my speed. I have to back off this pace. I'm just going way too fast and, and I'm suffering for it. At this point, I know I'm only about two minutes into this ride, but I know I can feel it in my legs right now that I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna have anywhere near the kind of power that I had in my last two races. So at this point, I'm just gonna bite the bullet, drop to the pace that I need to be at to sustain my ride for this 35 minutes, and then see where I land when it's done. Okay, about 30 seconds left in this ride, and I'm at 23 kilometers, um, and it's actually the furthest I've ever ridden in the 35 minutes for this duathlon series. So I'm happy about that. I'll take the extra distance and get myself ready for the run. I don't know how my run's gonna be because my legs are throbbing, but I'll do the best I can. Here is my training peaks graph of the course that shows the elevation changes. Um, you might notice that one big peak right there in the center. It's actually a fairly short kind of steep climb and I got through that relatively easily. However, the legs are still aching after getting everything set up on the treadmill, but I'll give it my best effort and see where that gets me. I forgot to start record on the video again for the race. So no, there's no starting footage, but I got off to a good start. I was in first place. So I took off on the line kind of quickly, but as you can see, I got past. My legs are feeling kind of heavy and I can feel this nagging feeling right in the back of both hamstrings, which tells me that I was pushing really hard on the bike and I can't really engage any extra speed. I don't want to try and do too much of a long stride and cause something to pull or get, or aggravate them anymore. So I'm just going to try and maintain my pace at around about 340, 330 and finish out the race that way and see what kind of time I get on my run. Okay, this was kind of frustrating. I had the guy in second place that was just right up in front of me. He was just in touch. And I tried to speed up a little bit just to get at him, to get past him. But then I started experiencing dropouts. That's when the Wi-Fi or the Ant Plus or something drops out and then all of a sudden I'll slow down and then it'll come back in and then my pace will pick back up and i had him he was right there and then i lost it on the dropouts and then that allowed another guy to catch up to me and it looked like he might pass me if the dropouts kept happening but it stopped and 
I was able to get back into my pace and get back into my stride. I thought maybe I can catch that guy in second. I was giving it everything I had, but nope, it just wasn't going to be enough. It was going to run out of time. So as I was finish out these last few seconds, I looked up and saw 4.23 kilometers. I was like, that's kind of short. This is going to be my worst run of this series. And it just kind of sucked to have that happen on the last race. I did must have did a little too much on that bike and my legs were just whooped. But it is what it is. Here they are, folks, the final standings. I finished in third place. I was never really in any trouble to fall out of third place as the fourth place guy was a couple of thousand points behind me. So the only thing that could have knocked me out of the third position was if I didn't do one of the legs, one of the races. And that could have potentially happened if my internet would have dropped completely out on me. Um, I wouldn't have been able to finish the race in. And not finishing one of the legs, you don't get points. And if you don't get points, you fall in the standings. And believe it or not, that actually happened. About two and a half hours after this race completed, my internet went out and it was out for five minutes. So if that would have happened during a race or before a race and I didn't get to the starting line, then I wouldn't have been able to complete that leg and I would have just lost those points. So I'm honored to finish in third place. I finished right behind a guy from Northern Ireland in Germany. It's awesome. And I'm looking forward to getting some well-deserved rights. So I hope you enjoyed this series that I brought to you. And I'm looking forward to doing some more Zwift racing in the future. Have a good one, peeps.